We're going to talk about some of the basic tools, and these are things like the move and, and scale and rotate. You can see on the slide, you've got a series of uh, icons as well as from the drop down under edit and so on. All of those tools you can access via the raster manager. So under raster manager, you'll see, and I'll kind of slide this out of the way up here, just to uh, you know, match what's on that slide. You got tools right here under edit. You can see all of the tools that are here. You also have a series of icons. Now these icons match what you see under the edit pull down. So you'll see here something for move and there's a move here as well. You know, what's the difference be between those two? Nothing whatsoever. Uh, they are, they, you know, this move is the same as the move under edit. It's really a matter of what you want to use. If you feel like using the pull down uh, or just the icons, that is fine. And you might say, I would like to have something else, a free floating little dialogue that comes up. Well, if we take a look, we have something called transform. And under transform, you'll see some of those same tools like move and scale and, and rotate. So these are the tools we're going to kind of start up, start with uh, talking about. So before I can use any of those, what do I need to have? We learned that certainly in last uh, month's session, and that was we need an image of some kind. So I'm going to go to File, Attach, and very similar to what we might do for a, a standard MicroStation file for uh, just referencing anything that was uh, a vector image, uh, or excuse me, a vector uh, a drawing. We're going to go to Attach and Raster, and we're going to go navigate to the correct uh, in this case, a PDF, again, uh, from last month's uh, session, MicroStation has a lot of different raster formats uh, that it can work with. Some are faster, some are better at displaying, and so on, than others. There's a whole lot of them to choose from. I'm just going to use a simple PDF file, and in fact, some of you guys might recognize this when I place it. Uh, it is a PDF in the sense that uh, I'm not going to be able to change the actual PDF, so open it read only is fine. I certainly could attach this and save it. We learned that last uh, SIG. I could certainly attach it and then save it as something else. I'm going to place this interactively. In fact, this PDF doesn't have any geopositional information. You'll see why in just a moment. Uh, we talked last month at kind of a great length of some of the things you can do here. For example, I want to make sure that I can place it interactively. If I set this to no, it's going to look at the image itself for some of that positional information. I can give it, you know, just a, a, a simple logical, well, just make it simple, like something like test or give a, a longer description. And that is, uh, you know, something like this is a test pattern that we're going to attach. Very important is the level that it goes on. That's good the way it is. And I'm going to click attach and just give two points to place this raster. You'll notice that on the tool settings window, I have a couple different options. I'm just going to place this with block. And again, we talked about this uh, last uh, session. I don't want to make it that big, but we'll make it about like that. That'll work. So we'll place that, that image onto our, uh, you know, just over the top of, uh, or under our geometry that's there. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.